The Plant Innovation Program is a group of faculty that covers many different departments and colleges across campus. And our main goal is to make flowers, fruits, and vegetables look, smell, and taste better. We set out to produce a tomato that tastes good because everybody knows that the, that the commercial tomatoes, they don't come close to the quality of the tomato that, that you can grow in your backyard. We knew a lot about the chemistry of, of a tomato in terms of what's in the tomato and, and we thought we knew which chemicals were important for flavor, uh, but we really knew nothing about the human side of this. We really knew nothing about what do people perceive, how do they perceive it. The whole impetus for what we're really working on now was Harry's dream of making tomatoes taste better. And my initial role in that was to provide measurement expertise. That is, if you want to know how to make things taste better, you've got to be able to measure how much people like them and what they taste like now. Not only that, but you have to be able to measure it so you can compare different groups. See, comparing what we each experience is very difficult because we can't share experiences. The new scale that we're using in this program is one that Dr. Bartoshuk really brought to the table, and that's what we're using, and it's the hedonic GLMS, and that rates uh, how much people like food in context of all liking. What happened was, because we had interactions with wonderful chemistry and horticulture, we had for the first time the measurement of all the sugars, all the acids, we had measurement of the large number of volatiles, so we could plot sugar against sweetness. And when you do that, you discover huge variability. Well, now how can that be? If the only thing making the sweet is sugar, well, the only thing making the sweet wasn't sugar. We've now got probably 80 volatiles that we know of that can enhance sweet. How much can we get out of them if we add them up? Nobody knows, it's never been done. And that's what we're gonna be doing for the next several years. We hope to provide the data to the plant breeders and the retailers in the food world that will help improve the flavor and the acceptability and the sales of fresh produce. And I think that would be a, a huge impact right there. We've got new blueberries and new strawberries and new tomato varieties coming out that are going to show that they have just as good a yield, they look good, but they taste better than anything that's out there. We've got the best talent in the world focused on this, and we've got all the bases covered, all the way from the finding out what the consumer wants to making the new fruits and vegetables and then getting them out to the appropriate markets. And I think that if we just achieve our potential, then we're going to have a big impact on, on the whole food world.